Hey, what's up, Granos and Granets? Juan Grams, back again, this time with another review. So I've been wanting to do a review of this product for a while now. I just haven't had the chance and, um, you know, every time I, I thought about buying the product, it, it never really kind of like I changed my mind. I don't really need anything like that. But um, it was trending this week on Amazon. I figure it was, it was one of the like gold box um, deals and I got it. And it's this um, this endoscope. I'm sure you guys have seen this in your probably your feed, your, your Instagram feed, your probably your... Um, Twitter feed or something like that that they, they keep putting uh, ads I don't know maybe it's just me because I was looking for you know because they are listening to everything you're doing and saying so um so I kept seeing the ads for it and I finally you know basically got it. I mean it was in the like I said it was in the Amazon um, gold box so um, I believe I paid maybe 20 bucks for it but I wanted one of these I'm a, I'm a person that likes tinkering with cars as you can see from my previous videos and I like playing with stuff and I thought that something like this might help me out you know maybe something one day when I need uh, you know a little tool like this so basically it's exactly what you think it is it's a, it's a, it's a telescope or I should say, in this case, an endoscope that goes into places where you can see or you can reach. Um, so uh, let me just read some stuff off the box. So first of all, it says HD 1200p. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means, but <laughs> we're gonna be checking it out. Made in China, of course. It's got this little um, box here, which is actually the transmitter and the battery, I believe. Um, and there's not much on the box. Okay, so here we go. It says support system. It supports iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac. So in other words, you could actually plug this into your computer, which we're gonna be trying now. We're gonna plug it into the computer and we're gonna use it as a camera. So, you know, maybe if you like, again, you're like me, you like tinkering with stuff. Maybe you wanna look inside your computer and you can't reach or you can't see, you can actually use this to look in there. Um, the resolution sizes are um, 1280, 720, um, okay, so it's 1280, I'm sorry, 1280 by 720 and 1600 by 1200. Um, the view angle is 70 degrees, uh, the camera is 2.0 megapixels, and the focal distance is about 3 centimeters. So, uh, you know, it gets pretty pretty close in there. And the frequency that it transmits at, because this is a Wi-Fi uh, transmitter as well, it, it transmits at 2.4. So, it does come with these little, um, little adapters here, so it's got a hook. Um, it's got a little mirror and it's got one of those little uh, things to pick up metal uh, and, and magnet, of course, yeah. So why don't we just go into the review? Let's open this up. Let's see what's going on. So I, I actually, uh, I've been meaning to get one of these only because I, 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 I'm always trying something different, something new, and I like trying to fix my own stuff, you know. If I can't fix it, then I'll take it to whoever needs to fix it. But um, So here it is. Um, and basically, like I said, this is the transmitter here. Um, so you press it. Oh, there it goes. So there is some juice on it. Um, and right there is activated. So uh, once I get my phone, I'll show you guys how to connect this. So let me just turn it off, save batteries. And here's the accessory, um, accessories uh, little case. And it's got all the different parts, all the little different um, plugs in there. And there it is. Let me see if I get that tap camera. So you got all the little plugs there. You got the, the, the one with the magnet. Um, you got the one with the hook. Got the one with a little um, mirror in case you gotta look sideways. So that's pretty cool. Let's just put this to the side and let's get the actual endoscope out. And of course you have the instructions, which I tend not to read until it's too late. So there is instructions. It does bring a charger cable, which is obviously a micro USB. I don't know why I say obviously, but I guess it's just, most of the stuff is micro USB. It's either Mac or micro USB. So there it is. And that's it. So, so here is the actual unit and now so this is more like a, a wire, like a hanger wire. See that? You could, you know, basically bend it in any position you want. So that's pretty cool. So let's look, let's look at the end here. Um, so here in the end, um, I want to show you this. It's got a little um, switch here, which you could go back and forth on. And that's how you make the light brighter on the camera. So we're going to be testing that out. So why don't I show you guys how this works? And again, this is not going to be a long review. This is a short, short and sweet review. Um, so you take your, uh, so this is, like I said, this is a battery pack. I think the battery life on this is um, continuous um, working is about an hour or maybe um, 30 minutes only because this is very light. I mean, this is literally, I mean, I, I thought it would have like a, you know, like a, a natural um, large rechargeable battery, but it's very, you know, I feel like it's very small. It doesn't feel as, as heavy as one of these little things will feel. Now here in the end, 
see if I can get the camera to focus on that. Here in the end, it will show you the, the Wi-Fi that you're going to be looking for when you're connected to your phone. Now, there is an app you have to download, and the app is, uh, well, the, this, you can scan it from the little um, instruction booklet here. It's called HDC, and that's how it looks like in the Android store, and that's how it looks like on the iPhone store. Um, so what you, so let, let me show you how this works. Okay, so let's leave the camera there, and like I said, I'm going to show you guys the quality of the, of the image. Um, so you can see more or less and let me just connect and I'm sorry if I keep getting text messages on my phone so I got the app downloaded already and we're gonna go into the Wi-Fi settings and into the Wi-Fi settings you're gonna find something that is called I believe it is let me see again it's called YPC so uh, oh, there it is right on the bottom of my on my list there and you just click on it and it's connected as simple as that I mean it doesn't take long to connect um, right on the top of the phone or oh, actually my thing is still spinning but there it is it connected so now this is connected to the phone you take the wire you plug it into the USB part of course and now um, the light turns on and check it out pretty cool and this is what I was telling you about the light where you can make a you can make a brighter or you can make a dimmer or you can just turn it off altogether so there it is now we're gonna go into the phone and we're gonna go get the uh, we're gonna con connect to the app on the phone and here's the app so compared to my studio camera you know it's okay again this is not a camera to transmit video or anything like that this is just for you to get places that you can't get to now it does have a couple of settings here in the in the in the app let me just try to zoom in so it's got a couple of settings you go click in here and you could change it right now i have it at 1200p i find that if you have it at um maybe something lower like 720 or even um 640 the quality of the video gets a little better and it's not as less choppy as you can see check this out so see that let me let me see if i could do some real time video here okay here it is and i do have the light on on this then let me just turn it off so it doesn't I do have my since I have my big light on. So see that? Let me get close. Mm -hmm. So there's my eye. And look at the quality of that. Now uh, look how close I am. Look at the camera. And look at this. So I'm actually pretty close. So the, like I said, it's about six centimeters before it stays it starts getting out of focus, but that's pretty cool. I mean, it works. It works the way it's supposed to work. Alright, so let me see. Alright. So, it actually focuses in pretty well. I mean, look at that. Mm. Let's take a picture. I can take a picture with the phone. Uh, so, the distance, I want to definitely say, is about um, six centimeters. I mean, it, 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 if, it, if I get too far, it's obviously going to be out of focus because the camera doesn't focus that far. But... Um, let me see if I, if I can get it to focus this close. That's pretty good. So you could take a picture, like I said. Take a picture. And then you can look at your pictures right there. There's a picture. And it's not bad. It's not a bad picture, but it's not really a camera to take pictures. It's a camera for you to, you know, dissect. Go in there. Check out what's going on. Um, and it also does video. So let me just quickly talk about these attachments. Now, I have a, a little bit of a problem with most of them only because functionality they don't work the way they should work and when, when i say that i'm gonna again you know you, you could disagree with me but this is my personal opinion so let's say like this little hook right here okay you got your little hook there's the hook right you attach it so it screws on to the top of the head here now this is manufacturer person people in china who made this you might want to reconsider this particular um, attachment and I'll tell you in a minute why now I'm putting on my attachment it's on there screwed on there let me um connect to the camera and I'm gonna show you what my problem with this attachment is and actually most of the other attachments as well and, and again personal opinion and this is what I think this is the problem with this particular attachment now this you think is the perfect way to grab something that you lost in a little little crack in the corner even even in like maybe in a, in a grill in a grill on the street or something you try to pull something up but here's the major problem here's the major flaw 
So you got your camera, right? You got your camera. Look at look at look at what you're looking. So this is what you see. You understand what I'm saying? So assuming I want to grab this little wire right here. Right? Let me see if I have it in the top camera as well. Let me put the, look, there is the wire that I want to grab. Here's my camera, and this is what I'm looking at in my in my phone. Okay? So I'm trying to grab this wire. How do I know which is the front and which is the back of this of this hook? I mean, I know because I'm looking at it right here, but if if this is like somewhere I can't see, I can't reach, I don't know where it begins, I don't know where it ends. Both sides look the same. So if this hook would have been the other way, would have been better because it doesn't obstruct the, the view of what you're trying to grab. So if this hook would be the other way, that would work better. I mean, again, personal opinion. Same thing with the um, the magnet um, jammy. The magnet jammy, it's right in front of the view. So you cannot see what you're trying to get to. See that? You can't see what you're trying to get to. So I mean, here's my view. This is what I'm looking at when I'm looking at the, at the, at the, at the magnet. So I'm not too thrilled about the attachments and how they work. Um, I, I think they could have done a better, you know, better design with it. Then again, you know, this is probably a copy of a copy of a copy or something, you know, but uh, you know, so, I mean, this one is okay. This one works because it's just a reflection of the camera, you know, you, you reflect in the camera. So that one is okay. This one is okay. I think this one is okay. But the other, the other two, I think they should reconsider the design of those two only to make it work properly. I mean, I love that it has a little magnet at the end. You know how many times I have lost um, screws and stuff in between, especially the one I'm working in the car and the engine, you know, uh, you, when you're trying to get a screw, that, I mean, this is great. This will look great and you pop it in. But what if this was facing the other way? You know, if the little magnet was on the other side, at least you know where you're looking at as you're looking for it. Same thing with the hook. The hook will work fine if it was on the other side. So when you're trying to go get it, I mean, when you try to get something, you know where to hook it from. So guys listen thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this very small review of the endoscope um i guess the name of the company is um oh i see i see i see is the name of the company so um i'm gonna leave the link in the description i did grab this in the gold box in amazon so it, you know it, it was on sale and it was uh you know like one of those items of the week um the trending item of the week so uh, let me know what you think i mean it works the way it's supposed to work if you're looking for like a little I, I love gadgets i love gadgets i love everything about gadgets if you're looking for a gadget um to get to those little spaces that you can't get to then the endoscope is going to work for you um Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Um, and you guys, let me know what you think. If you have one of these, is it a, more of a gimmick or does it actually work for you? Or maybe you could tell me, what am I doing wrong with this? Maybe you figured it out already. Um, so, guys, thanks for watching. You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. Find me on Instagram, Los Granos. Find me on Twitter, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.